Look out. Just because you don't see her doesn't mean she's not around. Well, fuck. Ah! Tell me why you reek, Mr. Cross. Mm -hmm. Kind of a bad time to be taking jabs at my personal hygiene, don't you think? Shut up. You smell of death but are clearly alive. You're not just a stupid prepubescent brat, are you? Ah! Wait. Hey! Throw me the hammer! It didn't occur to me that he wanted the thing for the blood, and not for an actual weapon. Please be enough. This is your ticket out of death, so you have to fucking take it! I'm sorry, this was all pretty avoidable, wasn't it? Your arm, Mr. Akinlek? God, Mr. Akinlek, I hope this works. I need it to. Come back. Even if it's just to punch me in the face. <gasps> yes! You can do it again if you want! <sighs> Why do I feel like a car hit me and backed up over me again? And that it's your fault somehow? It is! But you're back! Oh god, yes! I'm so sorry! Also, um, you're a vampire now? What?! Sorry. When the client is technically dead by the end of the case, I believe it becomes classified as a bust. However, some things happen for a reason. Where did the vampire go? Uh, the first one. Oh. She must have run for it after you nailed her. But she'll probably be back. Especially since, um, she's your sire now. <laughs> There's no way I can be a vampire. I still feel like shit, and you don't seem, well, appetizing at all. Uh, thanks, Mr. Z zombie is that your name? It's just pretty much impossible for us to tell when it does. So we just learn to cope instead. He doesn't remember his name. Look, not to press the issue, but you should really eat. You know, blood? Oh, what smells dead? Stop changing the subject. Is that you? It must be because I use magic and taste my blood. But anyways... Let's go get you some food! I hope you mean a bug. Ah, uh, uh, stop touching me! And so, we plunged a little deeper into Hannah's world that day. It's just down this way a little further. What? This looks like a dead end alley. I have to admit, I'm not very comfortable where this is going. Don't worry, I'm taking you to a doctor first. Okay, well, he's not really technically a doctor. He's actually a dropout, and he's not certified or anything. But he's not too bad. <laughs> What's wrong? The fact you must ask makes it even worse. Hannah picked the third door that came into that alleyway. Worth! You here? You're always here. I'm sure it wasn't magical, but it was definitely one of those things you had to know where to look in order to find it. Hannah. Beat up again, I see. I missed ya. Er, uh, I missed you too. Big favor to ask, though. My friends need to eat and- What? Eat? I'm not a fucking Mickey D's, Hannah. I'm a busy man, and I- Shit. They're dead. Christ, Hannah, you killed them. I- I- I did not! <laughs> You've gone rogue on me now. Ha! <laughs> a necromancer, Hannah. How unlike you. Let's get this straight, whoever you are. I am not dead. Uh, what the- Interesting. No heartbeat, and as a doctor, I hate to tell you this, but you're fucking dead, you sorry SOB! And you're not a doctor! You're a hack with head trauma! Er, we'll let Worth handle Mr. Akinlek for now. D does this hurt? Not horribly. I would say you have to be lying, but... I don't see the point in lying. <laughs> I thought as much. There. Can you... Still You're move it? Yes, thank you. Grits. Nah, I fucked up, remember? I'm really glad oh, you both are you. okay. Really? Ice. I was afraid. Shut up! Oh crap. I've heard it! I don't have to take this shit from you! I. Mr. Akinlek! Oh my god. This is. good? Please, please, please don't eat him! Need a hand? Mr. Rackenleck had come to us to clear vampires from his condo, but all we managed to really do was make sure that his place had a vampire inhabitant.
Hey, Mr. Akinlek. Sorry we're late. <sighs> it's okay. You can just call me Con right now. You doing okay? You look healed. Ish. Oh yeah. Uh, the food you gave me when we were at that doctor's place did most of it. Um, I'm really sorry. Huh? What? The doctor. I punched him in the face. I broke his nose. Wait. Worth? You're sorry for hitting Worth? That's so funny. You know, actually, Worth is kind of keen on you now. What? What does that mean? <laughs> it means it'll be easier to get you food. Galahad has some in his coat pocket for you. Galahad. It's, um, it'll help temporarily, but if you ever want to get your strength completely back or get rid of those bite marks, you'll have to eat something fresh. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. No one will get it. Hey! Are you gonna drink this? Can you? Now that... you know. Oh, no. It just feels weird to come to a bar and not order anything. Light. Are you even old enough? I'm 24. Are you? Really? Proud face. It's okay. I forgive you. This time. I bet you're hungry, so... <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Oh, God, we're in public! But no one is really around except... Anna! No! Are you being weird at my customer? You came out of no. nowhere! Are you sure? You're acting pretty weird to me. Is he bothering you, sir? I'm not! Hmm, I guess I can give this to you, then. A girl came by to drop it off earlier. Oh! A girl?! Don't get too excited yet. It could just be a restraining order. Dear Mr. Cross, I heard from a friend that you deal with things that are not always of this world. In the Ops Theater on Hunt and Bradford, I think there may be something a bit of that nature we could use a bit of help with. So far it likes to break things when our lead sings out of tune, which is often. Can you please check it out? Here's the address. Thanks, Tony. Ops Theater. 5026 Hutton Parkway, next to 7-Eleven. P.S. I'm not really rich, but I can buy dinner. Sorry. DINNER! Wait! You have my... My... Your what? I could never really tell if Hana meant to keep dragging Conrad along, or if it was a byproduct of his eagerness. But it was working. Is anyone even inside? It is not hour of the night. Hey. I think they're rehearsing. Hey. The light's on. Hey! <clears throat> Does he just try to ignore me, or is he just a natural at it? <clears throat> Miss Tony? Oh, you came. Huh? Oh my gosh, so professional, Mr. Cross. I'm so glad you actually came. Hey! No way, not me. Hey! Ah, I'm so sorry. I thought you were their, um, little brother. <laughs> ah, it's hysterical. What? You smiled! From this point on, Hana began to tell our smiles. I didn't realize I smiled so little. Maybe I'll have to work on that. I smile plenty. J just not lately. But still! Hmm. I, don't I thought so maybe your face would freeze that face. way. <laughs> Impossible. Because it might actually do that one day. Wow, you are a professional, Mr. Crow. Uh, I am? Oh yes, I am. <laughs> I thought you were being cruel for, for some reason. Oh, these your friends, Tony? What did they say they were? Ghost hunters? How cute. Hmm, <laughs> an odd choice of words. <laughs> you do look like capable hands. Flirt with him later, we're on the clock. So which one of you is the lead? We need you to see off key. That happens a lot anyways, right? Oh, you're the lead. <laughs> Go figure. I'll have you know I'm only singing off key when I'm nervous! Jeez, okay, okay. Only when nervous. Got it. Who the hell are you anyways, little twerp? Mm, I... Hannah, do you have your hammer? It's time to negotiate. We need some light. Mr. Cross! Mr. Cross! Mr. Cross! Mr. Cross! Mr. Cross! Mr. Cross! Mr. Cross!